The question is, how do I find my LinkedIn profile URL? I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you how to customize it, explain to you why you should customize it. So my LinkedIn profile URL, it's when I hover over my name right there, you can see in the bottom left hand corner, there's my URL right there. When I click on my the me and I click on view or hover over view profile, the bottom left hand corner, you can see there's the URL as well. When I go to my profile, the URL to my LinkedIn profile is right here in the address bar. LinkedIn.com, I-N-T-L Burris, double R-I-S-S. Now, where else can I see it? I can also see it by going to contact information for any LinkedIn member, and there it is right there. Look, I'll go to my buddy Randy Wooden. Hang on a second. Click on his profile. Right there it is in the address bar, linkedin.com, I am Randy Wooden. If I go to contact information, there it is right there as well, linkedin.com, I am Randy Wooden. I don't care who the LinkedIn member is, when you are viewing their LinkedIn profile, the address in the browser is their LinkedIn profile URL, and when you go to contact information, the address right here is the LinkedIn profile URL. Now, how do you customize this and why should you customize it? Let me go back to my profile. You should customize it and you should make it something that's relevant to you as a human. Not you as a human in a job, not you in a role, not you in an industry, not you in a company, but just you as a person. And why should you do that is because once you customize it, A, it's a much simpler string to share. If you don't customize it, it's going to have all kinds of content, including a bunch of numbers hanging off the end. But you should customize it so that you, and never, ever change it and use it everywhere you can to get more and more people to see your LinkedIn profile. Now, how do you customize it? Go to contact information, hit the pencil to edit. In edit, right there it is, profile URL. You click on this right here. Brings me to my public profile settings, including showing me, here's my current LinkedIn profile URL. Here's my system assigned URL, the teddy dash Burris dash a bunch of numbers that never changes. And by the way, until I got rid of them, there were, here they are. Uh, set prior or see prior custom URLs. I've done this and, and what I've done is I was testing if KCD Higgins was available and the system assigned it to my profile. I don't need that anymore. But you could see prior custom URLs that you may have used right here. Uh, they're no longer associated with your account, but they were at one time or another. But this is your custom LinkedIn profile URL right there. And the way you change it, you hit this pencil and you change any, anything you want in the box. My simple recommendation is keep it your name specific, not industry specific, not role specific, not company specific, and no cute statements like you're a guru or whatever. Just you as a human. And that's why I use for me everywhere across social media, my handle is TL Teddy Lee Burris, double R I double S. So everything I do on social media, everything I do online is TL Burris. Why? Branding. I want to be TL Burris everywhere. I don't want to be Teddy Burris here or Lee Burris there or TL Burris Jr. here. I want to be the same thing everywhere you find me. So my recommendation would be customize, edit your URL, never change it ever again once it starts being used, and see if you can make the same handle on everything you do. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn and Sales Navigator strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you. Mm -hmm.